Whoa. Archie, you ready to go fishing, dude? It's fishing time again. I know you're hanging out on your favorite little fleece thing here, but uh, we're going fishing. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, it is another hot, sweaty day here in Florida. Summer day, what is it, July? It's almost August. Um, this is about as hot as it gets here in the year. And you know what? It could be worse. It could be worse. I could be in Arizona right now. Sorry, Phoenix. Sorry, Jeffrey. That just that just does not sound great. Um, but anyway, today we're going to be fishing a cool little creek spot that I found on Google Earth. Uh, I just look around for spots. Uh, that's what I do. You know what I mean? I come out here and I grind a lot. And so I did earlier this year too. Grinded for a lot of spots. Um, this is kind of a new area of Florida to me. So I'm kind of grinding for new spots. Um, but I think it's way more rewarding that way. When you go out and you hunt around, you put your mud boots on, and you walk through, and you find your own spot, and you catch a big fish, that's very, very rewarding to me. I don't like to take tips from people. I don't like to be like, hey man, where do, where do you where do you catch your big fish at? And then just go there and catch one. It's not the same, right? And uh, another thing I just wanna say, like, don't don't comment spots on my on my YouTube videos. I don't know why there's like a thing where people, people will see a spot that they know, and they gotta comment and be like, oh, I know that spot, I've been fishing that spot forever. Like, it's the here, and they put the address. I don't know if you guys just don't know or not. Like, I'm sorry if you don't know, but I'm telling you right now. Um, don't do that, that's rude. I don't know I don't know where that came from, but just let people find their own spots, you know? Like, let, let people run around, let people discover it. The only spot that I will allow to be commented in my comment section is Lady Bird Lake, okay? Because that, that's a hell hole, okay? But anyway, we're about to go fishing. All right, here's what we got tied on today. We got the throwback chickadee, pink lemonade. That is the uh, Florida special. They love this bait here. And then over here, got my new conventional rod. Um, we got the Contra Shad, also pink lemonade. We got double pink lemonade today. Sorry, just totally shilling out here. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to fish this bait. And uh, I think we're gonna get bit. Uh, one more thing before we get on the water just want to do a quick little merch plug because I don't know if I plug this on YouTube or not But uh, there is homeless fisherman merch on the throwback website. We got uh, we got the shirt design here with Archie on it um, The back I can't really show you the back, but <laughs> The back is cool. I promise it's it's me and Juan running towards the world record So there's some there's some merch up on the throwback website um, It's been up there for a while. I just forgot to mention on the YouTube channel So if you want to go pick it up rep um, support that'd be dope. I appreciate it Okay, we're in this beautiful, tiny little creek. It's it's really small. Like, this is a definitely a paddleboard spot. Um, and we're about to play another game of how fast is the GoPro gonna overheat today? <sighs> Hopefully not, because it's kind of cloudy. But I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not very hopeful. Um, I'm gonna start out with with the good old chickadee. We're gonna we're, we're gonna run this up first. Um, the trees and the little vines hanging down. Everything looks set up right for a uh, for a bird bite. So let's, uh, let's see what we can find. Oh yes, and I almost forgot. Before we continue, let's see if Archie wants the leaf. Oh, <laughs> he wants it, all right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Wonderful. Little Archie ASMR. Crunchy crunch. Nice, the whole thing, one go. Archie in the net. Let's see if we can land this one. Come here, Arch. Come here. <laughs> there he is. Nice, dude. That's a good one. Oh my god. Listen up, boys. The bird is the word. <laughs> First fish of the day is a solid one. Look at that thing. Look at four pounder. Did not expect that so soon. Look at that. Nice Florida bass on the chickadee. That is definitely a Florida bass. Look at that thing. All dark, long and skinny, got a big head. Super sick eat though. All right, there we go, on the chickadee. Strikes again. See you girl, get out of here. Nice. 
Look at that. I hesitate to call this lunch, but here's our snack for the day. A little waffle. Got a little waffle action. Got a little, little yerbe action going. Got a little Archie action going. Archie, I bet your legs taste like chicken. He's like, hell no. the day came as a little surprise there um, on that bellows gill 5.8 and this may or may not be a new type of material for the bellows gill 5.8 I'm not sure if I'm supposed to show that yet but uh, there it is a little secret for you guys that was sick I've been kind of fishing it over this stuff like a frog just trying to get in there deep and uh, this girl followed out and crushed it all right fish number two bellows gill 5.8 get out of here Look at this little fucker. He's been following around my bellows gill for like 10 minutes now. Get away from me. I don't know what you want from me, but yeah, that's right. He's probably scared of Archie. I'd be scared of Archie too. Get out of here. How you doing? Good, man. You didn't catch anything good yet? Oh, I got a couple decent ones. A little, a little slow, but can't complain. Right? <laughs> You'll have to. It's actually ignorance. That's a catfish. Bank. It's a bass, large enough bass. Yeah. Actually, nice. the smallest one I've caught today, but <laughs> I'll take it. Absolutely. Dodge, let go. Yeah. Pay back. Third fish of the day. Choke the bellows gill again. Just uh, enjoying my time here in the shade. That's another good-looking Florida bass. Let's get her back here. See you, girl. Okay, so I, I caught that fish back there, and then I had a dude paddle up to me, and he was like, hey dude, uh, you mind if I film that for my video? I was like, sure dude. We kind of started chatting a little bit, and um, it was actually a very cool interaction. Uh, he said he owns, or he works at, uh, a little like food truck thing. Basically, they have a K truck that they make pizza out of, which is super sick, and he invited me to come out tonight. So, maybe we'll go do that. Maybe we'll go get a pizza later. That would be kind of sick for the video, but honestly, I, I've really been trying to go out of my way to just chat with people that I meet on the river or whatever like that. And it's been going pretty well. I just, I just chat with people. Hey man, how's it going? What's up? How's your day? And, uh, I've been meeting some very interesting people. So he was kind of stoked to meet me and I was stoked to meet him. He was like, Hey man, come by, I'll give you free pizza. And I was like, you're gonna give me a free pizza. Like I'm gonna put you in the YouTube channel. So thanks Danny. That was dope. It was, it was good to meet you. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I, I put the chickadee back on. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep on trekking, um, heading back to the launch ramp now, but we might get one more. Let's see what happens. Woo, let me tell you what, boy, it is hot out there. I am sweating and it feels so good to be in here in Ethel's fresh, brand new AC that we just got installed a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, it's, it, that, was a, that was a banger, honestly. Um, MVPs of today, the old chickadee, every time, does good in Florida. And then this very inconspicuous looking Bellows Gill 5.8 that may or may not be very special. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about that yet, but that works. Uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about the chickadee real quick because they, I get a lot of questions about this bait and I will be straight up frank with you. If you do not have any idea how to tune swim baits or if this is your first swim bait, um, it shouldn't be. This is not This is not your first swim bait. This, this bait takes kind of a lot of learning. You have to learn how to tune it. You have to learn how it swims correctly, um, learn its little mannerisms, but it does get absolutely giant bites and it gets destroyed when other topwaters don't. Like if I know a lot of people are throwing topwaters 
this is the bait that I pull out because it's just so different. It's so aggressive and they go unglued on it, man. Uh, the GoPro actually overheated, but I did have one more strike today on the chickadee. Came up, crushed it right at the board, but I missed it. So it wasn't a big fish and, and it wasn't that crazy. But we did end up catching one on the chickadee. But I just got, I wanted to talk about the tuning a little bit here. I did a chickadee tuning video a very long time ago, but I just thought I would talk about it here, update you a little bit. Um, basically, when you're tuning this bait, okay, do not tune it like this. Don't bend the wings up against this thing. Don't ever tune it with your fingers like that. When you tune it, if you can see that there, there's a little bend right here. You want to make sure you grab on the inside of the bend with a pair of pliers and tune it from there. Very gently, you're going to go up and down. Do not tune it against the bait. It's not going to tune right and you can mess up the wings really bad. Um, anyway, get your pair of needle nose, stick it in there, grab it right before the bend. You want to make sure this is how mine is tuned, right? They're not way up here, okay? They're not completely flat. Basically, you just want a little bit upward and a tiny bit of forward cup. So if you can see that I'm holding it like this, right? Straight up and down in the camera. You can actually see the back part of it. It's just cupped ever so slightly. When you're tuning it, do not go ham. Don't go ham bending it all over the place. Just very microscopic little tunes. And you're gonna have to tune this bait a lot because when you catch big fish on it, sometimes it'll go three, four, five, ten 10 fish without getting messed up. But inevitably a fish is going to bend the wings and that's okay. That's what makes this bait so good is the wings and how you can tune it. Um, the wings give it that sick crawling action that other baits don't have. So be really gentle with it. Go in there, tune it very gently. Like I said, don't get frustrated. Slow down, breathe. It is a fr It can be frustrating. Originally, this bait did frustrate me. I told Kyle, I was like, hey, this thing sucks. This thing is a pain in the ass to fish. But every time I threw it out there, I would get a big fish. I have a couple, a couple of pretty nice fish on this thing. If you guys remember the infamous... Florida ditch video with Zeth. Uh, that one was on the chickadee and then the one at uh, good old Lake Austin, good old eight pounder on the chickadee. Just something magical about this bait. The noise, the crawl, something about it. Slow down, learn how to tune it correctly. Don't go too hard on the wings, just very gently. You want them a little bit up and a little bit of a cup. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah, tune it very slow and steady. And I promise you guys, you'll have luck on this bait. You'll enjoy this bait. It's, uh, it's the best crawler ever. I don't know if that's true or not, but I really like it. It gets destroyed. Um, yeah, old throwback chickadee in the creek, in the Florida Creek. Archie, what do you think about that? What do you think about that, Archie? You vibe with that? Yeah, looks like it. 